guys and yes are you ready for what I'm about to say welcome to day three of the Cleveland way I'll be honest with you guys and uh, I think you have to be honest with yourself before you can be honest with others by the time I got to Great Ayton yesterday evening after nearly 25 miles of torturous solo hiking I was very very close indeed to calling it a day I was in so much pain I've picked up a shin splint to my left and I was in so much pain yesterday I could barely walk and I could barely get down the stairs from my room to the pub and the restaurant where I was staying, which was the Royal Oak in Great Ayton. If I had to put it in percentages, I would probably say when I arrived in Great Ayton yesterday, I probably gave myself a 5% chance of starting this morning. However, I reminded myself what I said in one of my earlier videos in this series of videos about solo hiking the Cleveland Way that uh, by hook or by crook, by hell or high water, I was going to make it to the coast. So I set about uh, a series of stretching, elevated rest, hydration, painkillers. I even dug deep into my resource box and came out with the infamous Tiger Balm, which I purchased when I was in Thai, Thailand uh, a few years ago. And I applied plenty of Tiger Balm, which seems to be the cure for everything. They use it in Thailand for mosquito bites. Morning guys, beautiful morning again. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I went through a process of patching myself up and trying to get myself as fit as I possibly could and by the time I got my head down it was probably a 30 maybe a 40 percent chance of setting off this morning when I woke up this morning I would say after I did a bit more stretching out and applying of the tiger balm I was feeling 80 percent confident that I could get up and get going again today. So I've had a really big breakfast this morning at the Royal Oak in Great Ayton. I've eaten well, toast, bacon, coffee, grapefruit, melon, plenty of water. And uh, I'll make no excuses guys, I got a taxi from Great Ayton back to Kildow, which is where I bailed yesterday. I really, really did not fancy four and a quarter miles on tarmac before joining the Cleveland Way again where I left off yesterday. So I got a taxi and uh, just as I was coming into Kildow, I saw a solo hiker heading down into the village of Kildow. And it was one of the chaps that I met up with yesterday called Steve. He'd set off from his camp and was making his way into Kildow to join the Cleveland Way. So, uh, morning. So, uh, I got out of the taxi and got my kit together, waited for 
Steve to uh, enter the village and just asked him politely if we could hike together for a few miles. Morning, how are we doing? I think so. I'll tell you in about 22 miles. Steady away today. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I asked Steve politely if we could, if we could duo to uh, Captain Cook's monument, which is about three miles in, which is what we did. And uh, Steve has just stopped to readjust his pack and sort out a few bits and bobs. And uh, I'm pushing on. So my plan for today was kind of like plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. And uh, yeah, just, just see what we can pull out of the bag. Plan A was, if it turns out to be a disaster, setting off with a shin splint, then I would probably get as far as Cribdale Gate and then bail out and head down back into Great Ayton and call it a day. Plan B was to get to Gisborough, Gisborough Woods. Morning buddy, you right? And uh, if I'm struggling by the time I get to Gisborough Woods, then I'll bail at Gisborough. Plan C was if I'm doing okay, by the time I get to Gisborough, then I should be able to make it to Skelton. And if I'm really struggling by the time I get to Skelton, then I'll bail at Skelton and get a taxi, probably to my in-laws in Middlesbrough. And then, where are we? Plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, or whatever it is, plan D, plan, I'm losing track of my plans for today. Was if I can get to Skelton and I'm feeling okay, then sure as damn it, I can get to the coast at Saltburn. So, if I get to Saltburn today, without too many tears, I'll be well pleased. But if I do get to Saltburn and I'm feeling okay, then I'm going to continue to push on and do my very best to get to Staithes. But it will be a steady away day again today. I'm in no rush. Morning buddy, you okay? So, I'm in no rush today and I've got about three and a half miles in. It's mid morning, it's uh, probably about 10 o'clock now. Steve and I set off and killed out about nine. And uh, the shin splint's a bit swollen, it's a bit red, but uh, shin splints will go whether you rest or whether you actively stretch them out. So I'm planning on just steadying away, stretching it out. Today has got to be easier than yesterday, therefore it's got to be regarded as a recovery hike, hasn't it? Come on guys, tell me. 22 miles on steady flat has surely got to be better than 22 miles of undulating, gut busting, torturous ascending and descending. So that's my thoughts behind it, that today will be a steady away recovery day, stretching that splint out and hopefully arriving somewhere on the northeast coast of England late afternoon. But there's, uh, there's no prizes for getting there quickly today, guys. I'll tell you that for now. I am literally steady away, stomping away, one step at a time. So, I'll just show you where, uh, where I've come from. So, just up behind me there is the level track that comes down from Captain Cook's monument. Behind me here, we're almost there, is the gate. That's Cribdale Gate. And then we've got a steep climb just up there, which will take us back up onto the moor. And then it's fairly flat all the way into Gisborough Woods. So I'm looking forward to covering some miles without too much exertion, if that makes sense. So, so I'll probably sign off when I get to the gate down here. Morning, you all right? Good to see you again, loads of people out and about today. Loads of early morning walkers. I think most of these are on a little stroll out. I don't see too many with heavy backpacks, but hey ho. So guys, I'm gonna sign off. This is Cribdale Gate, and I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm gonna head up onto the moors now, and uh, I'll catch up with you all in a short while. So mind how you go. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and whatever you do guys, just make sure that you do everything you possibly can to make sure that your day is the very best it can possibly be. And I'll see you all later, bye.
Welcome back guys to day three of the Cleveland Way. Another steady away day today. So, today's agenda, Kildow to at least Saltburn. And when I get to Saltburn, I will decide what I'm gonna do from there. I've just descended down into a little valley which was a little bit sore on my shin splint but I'm now climbing out of the valley on a flagstone path which is actually quite nice bit of a masochistic thing to say isn't it it actually feels quite nice going uphill because I can feel the different position of my foot stretching out that tendon which is causing my shin a bit of problem today I can feel it stretching out and that's what I need to keep doing today, stretching it out, stretching it out. But anyway, before I descended down into this little valley, I stopped for a short pause or break because from there I could see Gisborough and I could also see the wind turbines off the northeast coast and I could also see the sea. Look at that beautiful blue and candy floss sky. No filters guys, look at that. Anyway, back to the sea. When I took a glimpse of the North Sea, I had a little moment, a little moment of reflection that took me back over 40 years. It's amazing, isn't it? Sometimes you can't remember the things you did yesterday or last week or last month. Yet there's certain things that you can remember from years and years and years ago. Now my nan and granddad, rest in peace, bless their souls, had a static caravan near Jaywick. And my brother and I, and my mum and dad, we used to go and stay at nan and granddad's static caravan. We honestly felt like we were living like kings. I come from a very humble council estate background where luxuries were few and far between. And the long awaited trip to the condensation field, damp, static caravan. Ah, oh, it was just amazing. It was a reward for hard work and good behavior. Anyway, I'm waffling on. So the moment I had when I could see the sea was when my dad would be driving us from Stevenage in Hertfordshire down to Jaywick, all through the country lanes, long before the dual carriageways and the motorways were built. It used to take us all day. I remember it. It was a Mark II red Ford Cortina with black plastic seats. And in the summer, those seats were like frying pans. Anyway, usually with about five, maybe 10 miles to go to relieve the boredom and stop my brother and I ripping each other's heads off, my mum would play the game. And the game went something like this. Let's play who is the first to see the sea. It's a terrible sight I've just seen there, guys. Just a dead lamb foot of that kissing gate. I'm not gonna lie, that's broken my heart a little. Stopped me in my track. I'm not gonna show you, because it ain't pretty. It's the first dead lamb I've seen since I've been out on the trail, since Monday. Bless its soul. So, my mum would play the game called let's see who can see the sea first and I think that's where my competitive edge was born because I used to make sure that I was sitting on the right side of the car behind my dad who was the driver because that gave me the best chance of spotting the sea first it's amazing isn't it the things you remember anyway we're in the the shelter of the trees which is nice and we're just Walking around this little coppice of trees, let me just show you. 
you can see how they've been shaped and sculptured by the wind. There's clearly a wind pattern that has allowed them to grow in such an unusual way. But anyway, we're, we're just skirting around this little coppice of trees and very soon we'll be at the, the base or the foot of High Cliff now. And I know from there we're going to be treated to some amazing views. There's a bit of wind coming in guys, so I apologise again. Um, we're going to be treated to some further amazing views and vistas of the northeast of England and the North Sea. So I'm going to sign off and push on guys and I'll keep you posted as I make my way along the Cleveland Way, day three, Kildow to at least Saltburn and uh, I'll see you all very very soon. Mind there you go, take care. Have you ever wondered what it feels like to be standing on top of the world? This is about as close as it gets, I reckon, for me. Just look at this, my friends. I'm high up on the eastern fringes of the North Yorkshire Moors. Day three of the Cleveland Way, Kildown, to Saltburn at least. Look at that sky. And just there guys, that's the North Sea. It's almost impossible to tell where the sky ends and the sea starts. Have a little look. Isn't that the most amazing thing? Anyway, that sight just there of the North Sea, and you probably won't be able to make it out, but right down in that little valley down there is Saltburn, which is where I'm heading for today. That will be my first major milestone today for what will probably be a slightly changing day compared to the plan that I had to walk on through Saltburn through to Stays. If I get to Saltburn today, I'm gonna to be one happy solo hiker. So, we're gonna push on. We've just come up quite a steep climb, which again, was actually quite nice. Stretching that shin tendon out again. But now, we're gonna start a toe crunching, tendon stripping descent down into Gisborough Woods. This is the track, guys, have a little look. That's where we're going, down there. It's like a race track compared to some of the stuff that I was walking on yesterday. This is a road, but it ain't tarmac. Don't get me started on tarmac. Uh, I had six and a quarter miles of tarmac from Blowith Moor all the way down to Kildow and then into Great Ayton to find my accommodation. Six and a quarter miles of sticky black tarmac. It's warm again today though guys. I got my buff on today because I got a bit of a red neck from uh, the latter part of yesterday walking in the direction of Kildow with the sun on my back. So I've buffed up and I've got a long sleeve top on, albeit I've rolled my sleeves up, but I've got a long sleeve top on as well, just to protect myself from the strong UVs. I don't want to be arriving in Filey looking like Rooster Booster, do I? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave you all in peace, guys, and I'm going to get this little descent well and truly in the bag. Once again, just look at the blue sky against the evergreens. Look at that, what a sight. 
what a sight to behold. It's around Wednesday lunchtime now. Wednesday the 16th, around lunchtime, 2021. And I'm on the road down, or the trail, or track, down into Gisborough Woods, where I'll cross the main road, head in the general direction of Skelton, and then eventually reach the northeast coast and Saltburn. And when I get to Saltburn, I'll make a decision on what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. And it will be based on two things condition of me and time of day pretty simple so anyway guys let me just show you around this is the evergreen forest of Gisborough Gisborough woods isn't that beautiful I'll catch up with you all when I get to the bottom of this hill Hey guys, why don't you walk with me for a little while? Instead of watching me talk about day three of the Cleveland Way and things that have happened in the past and my general philosophical ramblings, why don't you just walk with me? So, a couple of things to point out. When you're walking the Cleveland Way, this is what you're looking for. A little black plaque with a white acorn. Predominantly footpath with some bride away. That's where we're going guys. And if you follow that footpath in the distance, first you'll see Skelton. And then further on is Saltburn, which is where I'm trying to get to today. Now we've reached a little junction here. We've come off a little single track footpath and we've joined another fire track. The way I'm pointing is the way I'm going. You can look out across the barren moorland of heather and fern and shrubbery. There's been some tree felling and some burning of the stumps up here as well. There's almost a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a barbecue-y, charcoal-y smell. But this is where we're going, guys. Steady away today as well. I think I've said it a few times already today. I'm nursing a shin splint to my left. So it is steady away. No prizes for getting to the end first. It's all about moving forward with commitment. And if I can get to Saltburn, I'll be very happy. Very happy indeed. Look at the beautiful colors of these prickly ferns vibrant yellow against the rich bottle green. Isn't that lovely? Look at the blue candy floss sky. Isn't that amazing as well? Is it just me or does anyone else look for shapes in the clouds? If so, leave a comment. What have you seen? I'm sure I've seen a pig and Bart Simpson. Maybe that was just at the end of a very, very long day and I was starting to uh, hallucinate a little bit. But I'm sure I've seen a pig and I'm sure I've seen Bart Simpson in the clouds. Let's have a look at this as well, guys. Look at the beautiful color. I don't know what they are. If you can let me know in the comments what they are. Look at the beautiful purple or violet against the evergreens. Over in the distance there, behind those little snippets of tree is Gisborough. And that would have been one of my bailout points today had the, uh, had the shin splint caused me all sorts of problems. I would have bailed at Gisborough, but we're pushing on. And uh, 
I'm uh, sort of tag walking with another solo hiker today who's also heading for Saltburn. He was uh, ahead of me and now I'm ahead of him and I stopped at the top of Highcliff Nab just to readjust my socks and air my feet a little and uh, he caught up with me but he's further back up the trail now so we'll probably be tag walking today at some point and he gave me some really kind words of encouragement and said go on lad you'll be all right so uh, I've taken that on board I'm no lad but I'm hoping I'm gonna be all right so I'll jump back on in a little while guys it's getting very very warm today just have a look at that beautiful blue sky beautiful blue against the evergreen North Yorkshire Moors look at that tree desperately trying to reach the Sun see you soon guys Good afternoon everyone from day three of the Cleveland Way. So shin splint update. Not too bad to be honest. It's um, it's not really getting any worse. Uh, I'm keeping it moving obviously stretching both ways uphill and downhill. Um, but uh, anyway We've just come off the North Yorkshire Moors and we've passed through Charlton's and uh, we're back on a footpath which is leading us to Slap, Slapworth or Slap, Slapwaith. And eventually I'll, uh, I'll arrive at the Skelton's or Skelton and then eventually Saltburn where I'll make a decision on whether to stay in Saltburn or whether to push on to Staithes or see if we can go halfway, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, it's incredibly warm, guys. Really, really warm. The lovely candy floss cloud, which I showed you earlier, has all but burned off now by the mid-afternoon sun. It's about quarter past one, Wednesday, the 16th of June. And coming into this little wooded section, let me just show you. Coming into this little wooded section gives you a respite from the, the blazing midday sun. Lord only knows what it's going to be like when I go to Corfu in a few weeks and take on the Corfu Trail. And uh, it's taking on the Corfu Trail 
in a few weeks time that has made me commit to this because if I can't do the Cleveland Way, there is no way I'm going to master the Corfu Trail. It's quite interesting though, because we've come off of the moors and crossed the road out of Gisborough towards the east coast and the landscape has completely changed. Uh, you could be in Kent or a productive farming county. Let me just show you. Gone is the barren and harsh wilderness of the North Yorkshire Moors. We've now got lush, arable, rolling hills and fields. We've also got what looks like about half a mile of uphill slog. There's a solo hiker up ahead of me as well who uh, came past me while I was resting in Charlton's. And uh, when you rest, when you solo hike, you, you multitask. So you rest, you get your shoes and socks off, you air your socks, dry your feet, regardless of what or which sock and shoe combo you go with. There will be moisture and there will be perspiration, particularly on a day like today, where I think the temperature must be mid to high 20s. So I stopped for about 20 minutes just to check my map, top up my waste pack bottles from my flasks. I carry two thermo flasks, which keep your drinks cold or hot, as is your want for the time of year. And then I have a little grab bottle strapped to my waste bag which I can just grab and squirt and glug. So I've stopped to top that up with some more fluid and uh, got my socks back on, shoes back on. I'm still in my Salomon XA lights, albeit I've tied them up a little bit looser because I know that my feet are going to swell again. But anyway, so far it's all so good. Um, when I get to Skelton, We'll have less than a couple of miles until we arrive in Saltburn and the northeast coast of England. So I'm quite pleased actually, bearing in mind yesterday evening I was broken physically, mentally, spiritually, even my body was broken after a brutal day. So. I'm quite pleased that I've managed to sort myself out today and get myself back in gear and get back on it. Because I did say, didn't I? Bang me to rights, hold me accountable, guys. I did say that I would make it to the coast. And I'm sure that once I get to Saltburn and the coast, who knows, I might even dig in and push on and get to my planned destination for today, day three, which was stays. Excuse me guys, the perspiration is literally running off my forehead. It's quite a steep climb out of Charlton's for the record. So if you do stop at the benches by the hotel to uh, adjust or top up, take your time as you leave Charlton's and head for Slapworth and Skelton because it climbs for about half a mile up uh, what I call sleeper steps. And it's quite steep, so go steady away. But we're now on a nice flat section. Got some amazing views. To the right of me is the North Yorkshire Moors. Just behind me there, my friends, that's the North Yorkshire Moors. Behind me, that's the path, that's where I've come from. Behind me there, you can see the arable crop. I'm not sure what it is. I'm no farmer. Seems to be doing all right though. And then just up ahead of me, you might be able to make out, just up there towards that tree, that's where we're going. And I think when we get to the end here, we're gonna swing left and start heading down towards Skelton. And there's my uh, solo hiker colleague. 
So I'm going to sign off, guys, and I'll see you all in a little while. And uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. I hope it's all turning out as you had planned. But if I leave you with a word of wisdom, my friends, about planning and preparation, always plan to have a backup plan. Okay? Always plan to have a backup plan. Because you never know when you might need to pull it out the hat. So in the little shade of this tree, oh, I've got a cool breeze blowing on me. And I'm in the shade of the tree now, so I'm going to leave it here, guys, and I'll see you all uh, probably when I get uh, to Skelton. So take care, my nigga. How we doing guys? Please excuse the what might be juddery footage. I'm just going down quite a steep tarmac path and uh, I'm going slow for two reasons. One, so that you don't uh, get the pleasure of enjoying jiggery footage, but also on the subject of footage, I'm doing my very, very best to protect my feet still. And uh, those long distance hikers will know that downhill is worse than uphill for your toes. But look, the Cleveland Way, day three and I'm still on it. Um, I've just passed the other solo hiker who stopped to uh, take a break and eat his banana. And we stopped and had a quick chat, only for a few minutes. He is heading to Saltburn. And uh, I explained to him that I was heading for stays, or should have been heading for stays today, but I'm still not sure, guys, I'll be honest. Because I'm just about to drop down the hill and pass through the town of Skelton, which means next stop, is Saltburn and I can I can see it I don't know if you can see it guys but let me just spin around so down there where those houses are that's Skelton and up there you can possibly just see perched on the edge of the northeast coast is Saltburn so I have Saltburn in my sight but I also have a little bit of a logistical challenge Part of me is thinking, push on through to Staithes. Sorry guys, it's a bit jiggery down here because it's steps. So part of me is thinking, push on to Staithes. But then part of me is thinking, what about my toes and my shin splint? And part of me is thinking, well, just enjoy the afternoon and early evening in Saltburn. Do a short day tomorrow from Saltburn to Staithes, which is about six and a half miles, I think. And then just push everything back by one day. So arrive in Filey on Saturday instead of Friday. That is if I can push my accommodation at Staithes on by one day. And also my accommodation in Burniston where I'm staying before I do my final run in to Filey. So what I'm thinking of doing is checking in with my accommodation for the next two days to see if they can push it back one day and I might just see if I can find somewhere to stay in Saltburn and enjoy a bit of a slightly restful afternoon. But um, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here guys because we're just about to enter suburbia which is a bit strange bearing in mind that I've been 
pretty much on my own and in the middle of nowhere for quite some time now. Let me just uh, spin round. In fact, let me just show you. So there's the there's the jiggity steps that I've just come down. And just behind me there is suburbia. The Cleveland Way meets suburbia. And just to my left is this really nice, what looks like sort of monumental garden. I think it's to the, the RAF. Let's have a little look. It's called Ring Rose Orchard, if you can see. And it looks like some sort of memorial garden. How lovely is that? So, anyway guys, I will, I will love you and leave you for now while I just sit here and move my feet around inside my shoes. And uh, I'm going to navigate my way through Skelton and uh, I will probably jump back on when I arrive in Saltburn. And I'll let you know what my plans are for today, tomorrow and the day after and the day after. So, mind there you go guys, take care, bye. Thank you.